York. It is Friday the 30th of September, the last day of September. Just moving into October overnight. Um, we're still in the dark phase um, of the moon, although it is just starting to turn towards the light now. Um, all Most of the planets, not all the planets, are in retrograde. Mercury retrograde ends on Sunday. Um, but you will have that hangover period from that uh, when it sort of goes direct again energetically. Um, most of the other planets are in retrograde until the end of October. So expect something to shift at the end of October. Um, I will be doing the um, monthly readings um, over on the Kofi channel. If you're a member for that, you'll get that shortly. Um, and uh, if you didn't see, I'm going to be changing, or I am changing, from Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine to Yin and Yang, which is the same thing, essentially, but encompasses more. Um, and there was a little bit of confusion because, uh, for, for some of my um, watchers, I guess, seekers, um, when I did the reading for the full moon or the new moon, because Yin represents the female and yang represents the, the male and i usually read the other way around but so this is going to be so just for just I'm, this is the last time i'm going to say it because i, I want to move away from the divine masculine and divine feminine um energies in order for us to become more whole i, I did explain it in a post and it is six o'clock in the morning now so i don't really want to get into it and also i don't know if you've noticed my voice is sounding more husky than normal. Firstly, it's because I haven't finished my first cup of coffee. But secondly, it's because I stopped smoking. And for some reason, I've sounded even more like a fishwife. So I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> so yin is the female aspect. Yang is the male aspect. So I'm reading the opposite of what I usually would. And this is still the united energy, the external energy. So the cards I'm using, Catbacks, Golden Tarot, Ashley Cook's Bluestone Tarot for yin. The feminine and i was before it was over around but this is the way that you're going to stay from now on okay and then yang we're using um the is it, no it's the muse tarot and the golden lira like lower excuse me for the blended energies i'm using the tarot mystical moments and the dreaming way tarot and for advice um i'm using our tarot by sarah shipman so i've shuffled split and knocked all your decks so that means I've shuffled them three to five times, then split them into packs, into, de into uh, groups of three, and then put them back together, and then knock them, which is protecting them, knocking out the energy. Um, and that's it. So let us crack on. Oh, so, um, how is your retrograde going? <laughs> I know for some people it's been a bit of a breeze because they've been. A doing the work in the area that they needed to do the work in. And for some people, not so much. So, uh, well done, whatever your stance is there, because it is what it is, and it is how it's meant to be. Okay, so our collective. So say it once more, this is the feminine aspect, but it's also the dark dark aspect the emotional the heart the heart the head okay it's very beautiful energy okay beautiful cards just pop you. No, let's not pop you. Let's, let's just leave you there, son. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Try to be all mystic with my candles, and there's just no bloody room. I don't. Uh, your candles, total waste on me. But there you go. Still can't smell. Two years after something happens, I don't know what happens. It was either COVID. I should have got it back, or it was. Some sort of head injury. Okay, bottom of the deck. 
Beautiful. I'm going to just keep going for a minute, okay? I'll clarify afterwards, but I want to get all these cards out first for some reason. Okay. <clears throat> I thought I'd use these cards today because I don't usually um, use them for advice, but they're so beautiful. I should. This one always reminds me of one of my daughters. Because she has green hair and she's cool. She likes birds. <laughs> anyway. Oh, have we got there? Five of swords. Interesting. Because the five of them is okay. Well, so overall, we're looking for a new energy. We're looking for a new beginning, moving away from disappointments um, and and harshness and and ego play. Uh, we want to really move away from that. Um, however, it, it may be that um, there is some, you know fighting for what you deserve coming in as well. Let's just break it down, hold on. I'll break it down. Okay, so in our heads, we're, we've moved on. We're, um, no, sorry, in our hearts, I'm sorry. We've, we've moved on, we're on a new beginning. Um, we've been taking the time to recuperate and to, to, to heal from whatever it is that has wounded us. And as such, you know, our, our, our strengths and who we are has really been illuminated. And um, it's, bringing in, it's bringing in joy for us. It's bringing in a lot of contentment and happiness because you know yourself a lot better than you did. And, you know, things that you've, you, things have, um, are really taking off for you now. In, in, you know, in your, your, there's something that you're very passionate about. I believe it's you. I believe that you're passionate about you. And you've let go of this. You've let go of this pain. Um, interesting that all of the fives, not all of the fives, is there five of ones up? I don't see. No, it's not five of ones yet. Seven of ones though. So, but that's good. That's good. Because um, it doesn't mean, because I, I feel it's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Uh, this situation, this pain. Uh, the disappointment's over. You've learning. You're learning to move on from this disappointment, um, and you're learning to to stand by your boundaries and and have a cultivate an energy of give and take with with yourself and with the people around you. And that's transformative, not only for you but for the people that are around you as well. Um, that time out that you've taken to heal yourself. has really illuminated areas of growth for you. Um, and it's really it's really helping to let go of things <clears throat> that you'd struggled with letting go of before. 
which in itself is very transformative. Um, <clears throat> in your head space, there is a sense of disappointment. You know, like, so you, in, in your heart space, you no longer feel abandoned. You're not self-abandoning anymore. You know, you've come through that um, and you've seen where you were self-abandoning and you've, and you've recognised where you need to get balance back in your life and, and, and you know, and stand your ground and have these, these boundaries with yourself and with other people. So that's brilliant. So your heart space, I should imagine that your chakra is, heart chakra is, is beginning to open again if it has been shut down. Um, <clears throat> and that can also apply to your sacral as well. And so anyway, um, the, so for the, the head, so we'll, we'll call that the throat, the pineal and the, and the no, it's the throat and the pineal actually. Um, anyway, I'm getting lost in that now. I don't need to, that's, that's for another, that's for another day. Um, <clears throat> but there is this again there's still this sense of disappointment over um some situation here the empress is here again which is good because that's a united a united balance there um but you do the five of swords is here and here so that this is kind of like so is the eight though your head feels a bit mashed compared to your heart. You know, in your heart, you know where you're at, but your head, <laughs> I feel like you're, for some of you, there's a lot of overthinking going, it isn't here anyway. But, 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 you are learning to really cut through that bullshit and, and find your sovereignty again. But there is, there is, there is some wounding, um, I think the ego is taking a blow here. So there's a lot of ego on this table. There's a lot, of, lot there, you know. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of inspiration, which are wands, which are passion, and you know. Um, but you're ready to move on, like you know what I mean. The head is the head is ready to 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 take on and deliver, um, and step into a more loving phase. I think. To self, you know, I think you're starting to balance with him uh, because there's 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 ending here, and this is there's a I feel like there's a it's got seven of wands again. They're standing by your boundaries. There is conflict, though. There is conflict there. I'm seeing, um, but there's also happiness, and there's also victory. There's also good times. I think we need to clarify. And I'm going to start by clarifying with the head because the head seems confused. <laughs> and I was really like some clarity on the head. I'm going to start off. Okay, so Queen of Voices, Six Cups. So the six of cups is there again. Oh no, it's not. We've got the coins before, didn't we? So six of cups. Bullshit. Mm. And maybe this is over a relationship that you're still stuck in your head with. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, I think you've kind of thrashed yourself about on the rocks a little bit there, um, in order to, oh, uh, okay, so you're, right, okay. Okay, I feel like something that you'd invested in, someone or something that you'd invested in <clears throat> didn't work out the way that you wanted, and I think, um, it's taken you a little bit longer to get that right in your head then it has your heart because your heart's let go and it's learning to transform and it's, it's 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 open the connection to your soul to your higher self is is pretty good but i think externally the ego is is has kind of suffered a little bit there um and there's been some rejection and uh, yeah <clears throat> mm. 
perhaps on choosing career over over love. Either you or someone else, or you've not had time, you know, or you've not allowed yourself to invest. So quite confusing, to be honest with you. Oh, look at that. Queen of Pentacles on the Queen of Wands bridge. Don't be looking. <laughs> be funny. Oh, the moon. Oh. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. There's a slight discrepancy between what the head wants and what the heart wants. No shit, Sherlock. There's another one the time, is it? <laughs> I don't think you've seen your power. I think I think this is a... I don't think you've seen your power. I think you're seeing... I think you've looked at an emotional situation in a logical way. And as such, you've not really seen the opportunity... The opportunity here, hold on, let's just, let's just, it's something very passionate, you're very passionate about something, or was very passionate about something, that you're moving away from. This is so interesting. Don't be the queen, three pentacles. Oh, there is a, there's a lot of people involved. Well, there's a lot of people in your red space right now. And I'm going to say, hmm. Oh, I feel like you've sort of, for some reason I feel like some of some of this us in the collective have back have backed the wrong horse in some way. Um, not massively badly or anything, but I think there's been a bit of a bruise to the ego there. Um, and I think that there's one particular collaboration. That you're still quite focused on actually which is good which is a good collaboration so i think that um and it does speak the overall energy does speak of that to take that and enjoy that and i think that's um yeah it's really the headspace is really confused at the moment to be honest there's this overriding energy of disappointment and disbelief and and uh, rejection of um someone something or some sort of belief you know maybe it's maybe it's a work relationship that's that's broken down um but there's definitely a, some sort of union here um you can see the logic of the union anyway um that could be a new union or a union that you haven't yet started pursuing. And I'm I feel like this is um rather than being this 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 being an intimate relationship in terms of like an intimate partner situation, this is like a business a business partner um in some way. And that you know, that partner could be you, by the way, like you could be yourself, okay? Because the 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 you know the timelines are sort of marrying up here, um, so you, the, there is a balancing of self. So this awareness, you know, you've gone through your heart's got you both your head and your heart have gone through a thing, and they've both translated it differently. But I think you're coming back on the same page. But I still think there is, and it is end. It is definitely ending, and you've you're a new you're a new person at this time and I don't think you're letting go of that of what you want 
of what you need and what you want, which is a brilliant thing. You want that new beginning. And the five of swords, I think, in this case, in this row, I think is actually quite positive because you're just not actually taking any shit. Um, you're not going back down that path. You've learnt, you've, you're refusing to redo a lesson, and I think that's that's a very powerful thing. So let's get to clarify these the yin cards. Sorry. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Pentacles, which has already come out more than once, I believe. Might have even been, is it there? No, that's the Queen. I've seen the Nine of Pentacles. That's another one. Or maybe I'm just making it up. I don't know. There's a lot of cards. It's very early in the morning. It's only up past six in the morning. Anyway, <clears throat> interesting. We've got the Nine of Pentacles on top of the Four of Souls. We've got the Four of Souls on top of up the reverse on top of the Sun. So I feel like this healing, this rest and recuperation has, um, it's changed you, it's shifted you internally and externally. You've really done a lot of work on yourself, there's been a lot of soul searching. Um, gone deep, it's gone deep. And I feel like the the, the, the head, is, the yan is just coming into that now. <sighs> just aware of that now. Let's see Empress please. Queen of Pentacles, there she is, look. Yep. I hate really knowing your worth and your power now. That's very beautiful. King of Cups, let me come out there as well. This five, okay. Mm -mm. Now this is either an energy you're embodying or this is a, an energy around you. It could be something that you desire as opposed to a person. Um... Or perhaps you're ready to uh, connect again in some way. Don't feel like you're quite on the same page though. Oh, the Empress is fertile. Maybe you're starting to actually, I think it's more connecting to something you love um, in a work situation actually. And yeah, you could actually be focusing on that externally as well. With this, that's really good actually. I like that very much. Eyes on the prize. Page one and seven of wands. Yeah, I think that you're going to be. I think that there's going to be lots of opportunities coming in for you in this month. Um, and I would suggest sitting on them as much as possible because we are mostly in retrograde. Although, when Mercury goes direct, um, the other planets that are in retrograde are actually kind of helpful in retrograde um, because they are really helping us to examine ourselves and our feelings. Whereas Mercury is, is more external for some reason. It's like it, it creates chaos a little bit. Not that Mercury is the, you know, it's more Neptune, it's chaos, isn't it? Neptune and Pluto. But anyway, drifting off again. <laughs> okay, let's do The Emperor, the Six of Coins. Mm hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I think there's a lot of mastery happening here. Five of ones in reverse with death. The challenges are over. You have found that wisdom. Oh, the Empress again. There's, there's, yeah. A lot of growth. There's something that you love, or you just, or you've just discovered that you love. Um, that you're focusing on right now and it's bringing you a lot of joy um, and it's opening doors for other opportunities as well because I feel like you're in this energy of abundance <clears throat> and I think perhaps in the past there's been some ego pull um, towards this so like let's say you was going to start a business with, with somebody you know and um, 
<clears throat> even though it was kind of your idea, but they had the experience. <clears throat> and you felt that, <clears throat> excuse me, you felt that somehow that it was, it felt unequal somehow because you felt like they had all the power because they had the experience, right? But their experience meant that they was slightly less inflexible than you would have liked as a new as a new business venture, which kind of kicked the excitement out of it for you, say. And I feel like you've kicked that to touch. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person, right? It could be a limiting belief around it. <clears throat> you know, like if you've gone to your parents and asked for a loan and start a business and your old man's gone all oh, and that, I don't really believe in you because I haven't done seven years of uni or whatever, apprenticeship or whatever. And then you felt, oh, perhaps I can't do it because I trust what my dad's got to say. And then you, and then, and then actually you decided, well, fuck it, I should do it anyway because I believe in myself. You're doing it anyway, and that's what I feel. That's what I feel, and I feel that that is leading to new opportunities for you. And this, this really, I mean, the Empress has come out three times now, and it's really, she's about being perpetually pregnant with new ideas and creativity. There's a lot of wands come out, and the way that the wands have come out is very much about progress and moving on and standing your ground. Nine of Pentacles being in your sovereignty, lots of healing going on, you know, purging. Um, and love, and I, when I say love, I mean like love for what you're doing, love for who you are as a person, being shown that by other people, people can love you and admire you and ex ex respect you and show you that without having to be an intimate sexual relationship, right? Don't get hung up on it being that. And I do feel like there's a partnership here, a financial partnership um, between two energies that could be very helpful um and that could also be you though you know that could be the marrying up of the head and the heart so i would always look internally first before you look externally some people it might be very obvious that it's external but mostly we're talking internal okay so let's talk about how that actually does come out um in the physical and i do think it's this you're not being not, won't be deterred from your goals now is what i feel with this fire swords here actually rather than this kind of ego energy that i have to ever have to have i feel like this is more kind of like you know what i'm fucking doing it i've made the decision and i'm going for it and i feel like this is bringing you great happiness there will be victory there will be celebration there will be contentment. There will be happy ever after. The ego will fucking put itself to one side. The end of a painful situation will happen. There may be some denial over some parts of that. It's not fully healed. But you are standing your ground and your boundaries. You know what I mean? So, overall, you know, very, very lovely. Very, very balanced. Let's, let's clarify and see what happens. Hangman again. This for this, this celebration. Yeah, I think there's, um, you know, it's mushroom season, guys. <laughs> Maybe it's time. <laughs> there's some releasing to be done. There is actually some releasing to be done. Um, it's, there is a purge to be done here or something. There is a limiting belief that you're holding on to about yourself, your situation or others that needs to end. And you will have victory over that. It is coming. It's coming anyway, whether you like it or not. So might as well just get with it. Yeah, you need, you need to look, surrender. Go with the flow. You know, trust in the energy, okay? Trust that it's all going to be okay. Have faith. Because it is all going to be okay. Look, you've got 10 cups there. Can't be more happy than that. Ooh. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, what are you going to do with that happiness? You know, what direction are you going to take it in? So many options. So many options opening up to you. Beautiful. Don't, you know, you might get confused on that for a little while, but your ego is in play. Your your your, your ego is is there actually, and the, the high priestess, you know, that's that's an awareness of self that's 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 amazing. So I think you're gonna there's gonna be an abundance of opportunities coming for you now, connections, synchronicities. Yeah, I think a lot of you. This is about the marrying up of the self. To drive you forwards, 
in your career and the things that you want to do. Uh, very beautiful. Oh, but um, oh, there's loads of cards. Oh, there's the oh, that's spooky. Oh, and then the two swords as well. Yes, so there is a new beginning. But this has come up twice now, this Two of Swords. Some of you are denying that you want a new beginning. What are you doing that for? That's fucking weird. <laughs> Some of you got to leave somebody behind. <laughs> Walk away. Walk away, heads held high. Step into your power. Oh, there's a Queen of Pentacles again, third time. Look, dude, you're doing this on your own, okay? I think you need to just accept that. All right, there's, there's a denial that you, you can, you are doing this on your own. Ooh, take the power, take the power. Make it your own. All right, then, let's just like throw out another deck, eh? Oh, devil at the bottom, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, there's a shitload of cards just come out here. Okay, look. Choose, choose wisely who you collaborate with. Allow yourself to be in your sovereignty. Allow yourself to transform and communicate your needs. Don't be tempted. You will be tempted, but don't go there. Tempted to sabotage yourself, basically, is what I'm saying. <sighs> okay. What is the advice for us this week? Be in, you are more together than you think you are, okay? You really are. You are. I mean, the, the Empress all over this. The new beginnings. There's a lot of powerful cards here. You know, there is there is a lot. It feels like for some of you, there's a lot of people involved, though. Um, which can make, make, can make things confusing, you know? <clears throat> But you are in your power if you allow yourself to stay in your power, okay? Come on, advice, please. What have we got? Frick me. Look, look. This is... See that? Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, right? You couldn't have more as above, so below, yeah? This is... This is... Beautiful, and I think this is what this is talking about as well. I think this is the marrying up of self. Excuse me. I think this is a real... You know, a balanced period. You're really going to be in flow. Really, really going to find your own and be in flow. You, something that you need to purge away from you and let go of. And once you've done that, you're going to have so many opportunities open up to you that inspire you and excite you. But you're in control. And that's I, that, I think this is really important. If you felt out of control, then you're going to be back in control. You know, you really are in tune with yourself right now. And I think in the places where you don't feel in tune, just allow it, allow it, have that purge, do it. Connect to why, why? You know, looking deep. Do some regressive meditation or something. You know, there's a little part of you that's crying out to be heard and you need to listen to it in order to, to get here. You know, there it is, look. Speak fucking, you know what I mean? Have that clarity of mind, have that, you know, awareness. She was out here somewhere, the queen of swords is out here as well. So that is the king and queen of swords and the king and queen of pentacles out there. So you are wise, you are aware, you are self-sufficient, you are balanced, you are so balanced. By the end of this week, you're going to be really balanced, okay? There's one tiny little thing that you need to let go of. And it's, and it's there. Yes, be brave. Have compassion. Be vulnerable. Stop the fucking overthinking. <laughs> That's so easy to say, isn't it? <laughs> Just stop that shit. <laughs> Seven of Swords. Like, do you know what? You're fucking... There's something... It says here about this denial, right? You know, it's something that you're deceiving yourself. You are deceiving yourself over a situation here. Either believing that someone's going to change, either refusing to see the pitfalls in a financial situation, something that you're not letting go of, all right? It, your own fucking bullshit as well, you know? Can you keep going with something that isn't working anymore? 
you know, you really, I, I don't think it's come out of the Seven of Pentacles, but I would really, it's not, it's the time to embrace the, the balancing of your energies, right? But it's coming that you're going to have to look at, or you should have already been looking at your investments and what you're going to continue to grow and what you're not continuing to grow. And I think there's a, I think the denial that's here is yours. Okay. Take it out, it resonates. One, one more card, please. Just one more card to finish on. Go on. Give us some, give us some, all right, two then. Two then. Four of swords at the bottom. Yeah, you've got to continue, you've got to continue to heal. This is a healing period, okay? And there's a, there's a healing, you've got to heal from this disappointment and abandonment that you feel. So for some of you, you're denying that you feel like that. And for some of you, you're refusing to let go of that. But it's time. It is time. Okay. Go for the balance, not, not the wounded man. You know, learn the lesson. Don't hold on to the pain. Anyway, that's what I have for you. Well done, collective. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, and I will see you all next week. And if you have the Kofi membership, you will be getting those readings for the month coming in very, very shortly. Okay.